when people are setting goals, one of the biggest problems is that they set these goals, but you know, if, if they're too pie in the sky, then you never really attach to it, right? Like if somebody starts the business in November and they're like, I want to do a million in sales this year, you're like, well, you know, we've got like six weeks left, right? Let's just like figure this out, right? Let's do some mathematics on the number of hours left, right? Or if some, but it is, there are people probably that have started a business in November, done a million in sales in that same year, but maybe it's not as likely. And then I remember I had one woman that I talked to years ago and she said, I want to do, she was making 75,000 in her job and she said, I want to do $100,000 in sales in 2024. I think it was 2023. At that time it was like five years. That is such a ridiculously far out goal and so low, right? You're doing 75,000 in your job right now. You don't want to do 100,000 sales for five years. So what do you have to do right now? Nothing. You don't have to do shit. Because <laughs> you can wait and then, okay, one month passes. Okay, okay, it's now one more month later. Okay, well, what do you have to do then? Nothing. You have four years and 11 months, then another month, four years and 10 months, then another month, four years and nine months. You don't have to do anything for like four years and nine months. And then you got to get it together in like three months, right? So if a goal is so far detached, it doesn't make sense. But for those of you guys that are in here, already have a business, right? One of the most powerful numbers I like looking at is what is your capacity to onboard? How many clients can you onboard a week or a month? Your goal really should never be less than that because if that's what you can onboard, why would you have a goal that's less than that from a revenue growth perspective? Why would it be lower? So I want everybody to put down right now, how many tax plans can you onboard on a monthly basis, how many monthly clients, or whatever other key service you have, how many can you do? Now, I will say that if you can't do at least two tax plans a week and one monthly accounting client a week, then we've got to work to get to that. That's what I want to get to as your capacity to onboard, but put down whatever that is. How many tax plans can we do a week? How many monthly clients can we do a week with the current team? So what I want to see is a minimum of two tax plans a week and one monthly accounting client a week. And you'll see why. And we're going to go through the numbers here in a second on why that's important. Because that's just the, on, the, on the first and that second service right after the tax plan. So that's the minimum I want to see, no matter where you're at in sales right now, for anybody in this group, in this room right now. Okay? Um, and then take those numbers, right? So for example, if I were to say, well, and yeah, by the way, if anybody doesn't have tacos for taxes 2019, and it's tacos capital, or no, tacos plural. Um, so if you could do, let's say, two tax plans a week, and you could do more than this. Some people do do more than this. Two tax plans a week, and then one monthly client, and then multiply that times 50 weeks, right? So two times 50, 50 weeks, equals 100, equals... 50, okay? That would be your capacity, right? Assuming you didn't increase capacity throughout the year, assuming you didn't lose any clients, just do the math on that. Or, you know, if you have a different ability to onboard. And then you can take that times your average. And we're gonna go through setting goals in the dashboard later today, but this is a good exercise I always think about. Whatever your revenue goal is for next year, Right now in your mind, it shouldn't be less than that. Some of you guys are at like 750,000. You're like, yeah, I just want to do like 850,000. You do this math, there's a bigger number that's going to pop out than 100 grand. Okay? So I still, I've never had anybody give me a good argument for why your goal should be less than your capacity. I, I can't figure that out. So these are your numbers, right? This is your capacity to onboard. There's just 50 weeks in a year. You know, really. That should be the bare minimum goal. 